there's a lot of running around before I get here on a Saturday usually. So I was like, yeah. it's like I was cycling. <laughs> no, I wasn't. <laughs> I exaggerate, but I was out on my bike. And then I got home and I checked the time. It was like one minute. Like, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, but everything is sorted with your little one. There's no no hassle. Oh yeah, he's happy over there looking at YouTube kids. Okay. Yeah, he's like he's delighted. It's like I have a Zoom call today. Is that okay? He's like, yeah, because like you know, <laughs> we can watch them. If he said no, I wouldn't come. Like, cause you never know. Sometimes they might not want it or something. But he's very content. Oh, good. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> our chapter today is called Nadaga's narration about becoming the Brahman of truth, knowledge, bliss, infinite. Mm. And whereas previously all the repetition could seem tedious, in this case it's just certitude. Mm. Certitude and more certitude. I think there was a point back in the early chapters where I kind of, maybe I, maybe I more than we, <laughs> but used to kind of skip over the repetition. But I'm starting to appreciate the repetition. Like even if it's the exact same word, sentence after sentence after sentence, I can kind of see the value of that. Like our mind really needs that. It's like, it's its way of drilling it into our heads. It doesn't exist. 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 <laughs> Phew, it doesn't exist. <laughs> I'm right exactly with you. <laughs> so can I start reading? I seem to be in the yeah. flow. <laughs> okay, are you there? Yeah, yeah. You just your picture got stuck for a second. Oh, I, and I was simply opening the opening the, the big book. Yeah. <laughs> Master in delusionless joy. I shall say more about the experience of the undivided absolute with the untainted understanding I have decisively attained. I have become the Supreme Brahman, the one, without any conditioning of attachment, such as thought, without any of the conditionings of division, such as Maya, illusion or delusion, without the duality of the world, the individual and the Supreme. I, indeed, have become Brahman, all existence. I, indeed, have become Brahman, all consciousness. I, indeed, have become Brahman, all goodness. I, indeed, have become Brahman, all that. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the blemishless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the attributeless. I indeed have become Brahman, the non-dual. I indeed have become the undivided supreme Brahman. Will we take a verse each? I indeed have become Brahman, that which alone is. I indeed have become Brahman, the majestic. I indeed have become Brahman, the sacred. I indeed have become Brahman, the immaculate. I indeed have become Brahman, the unblemished. I indeed have become Brahman, the highest. I indeed have become Brahman, the desireless. I indeed have become the undivided supreme Brahman. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the truth. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the emotionless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the eternal. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the partless. <clears throat> I, indeed, have become Brahman, the pure. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the mass of bliss. I indeed have become Brahman, the unsurpassed. I indeed have become the undivided supreme Brahman.
I, indeed, have become Brahman, the unmodified. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the blemishless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the attributeless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the pervasive. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the indestructible. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the universal. I, indeed, have become Brahman, which is without a superimposition. I, indeed, have become the immaculate, supreme Brahman. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the afflictionless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the limbless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the veilless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the actionless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the spotless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the motionless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the incomparable. I, indeed, have become the peerless, supreme Brahman. I, indeed, have become Brahman, which is without thought. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the mass of consciousness. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the unmatched. Sorry, that's the unattached. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the faultless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the bondageless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the defectless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the endless. I, indeed, have become the undivided, supreme Brahman. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the primeval. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the perfect fullness. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the unaging. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the mass of existence. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the afflictionless. I, indeed, have become Brahman, the attachmentless. I indeed have become Brahman, the ancient. I indeed have become the peaceful, supreme Brahman. I indeed have become Brahman, the goal. I indeed have become Brahman, the delusionless. I indeed have become Brahman, the imperishable. I indeed have become Brahman, the destructionless. I indeed have become Brahman, the nature of consciousness. I indeed have become Brahman, clothed in consciousness. I indeed have become Brahman, the manifold. I indeed have become <coughs> the bodiless supreme Brahman. I indeed have become Brahman, the connectionless. I indeed have become Brahman, the revelation of truth. I indeed have become Brahman, the indivisible. I indeed have become Brahman, the supreme Shiva. I indeed have become Brahman, the lofty. I indeed have become Brahman, the non-dual. I indeed have become Brahman, the omnipresent. I indeed have become the one supreme Brahman. I indeed have become Brahman, the originless. <clears throat> I indeed have become Brahman, the indescribable. I indeed have become Brahman, the timeless. I indeed have become Brahman, the boundaryless. I indeed have become Brahman, the attributeless, convictionless. 
I indeed have become Brahman, the defectless. I indeed have become Brahman, the worldless. I indeed have become the undivided supreme Brahman. I indeed have become Brahman, the incorporeal. I indeed have become Brahman, the manifest. I indeed have become Brahman, the experienceless. I indeed have become Brahman, the undecaying. I indeed have become Brahman, the thirstless or desireless. I indeed have become Brahman, the peaceful. I indeed have become Brahman, the sorrowless. I indeed have become the pure supreme Brahman. I indeed have become the substratum of all. I indeed have become the superimposition of all. I indeed have become the pentad of deities like Brahman and others. I indeed have become the actions of them all. I indeed have become the gods, the humans, and the animals. I indeed have become the mountains, or the motionless, and all others. I indeed have become all that is moving and all that is unmoving. I indeed have become the undivided absolute. I indeed have become delusion, mahat and such. I indeed have become the Lord. I indeed have become ignorance, I and such. I indeed have become the multiplicity of beings. I indeed have become the insentient component. I indeed have become all the wearisome world. I indeed have become all that is sentient. I indeed have become the undivided absolute. I indeed have become Brahma and Vishnu. I indeed have become Hara and Mahasvara. I indeed have become the nature of Sadashiva. I indeed have become Shiva himself too. I indeed have become Uma Devi. I indeed have become Skanda and Vinayaka. I indeed have become the retinue of the Supreme Shiva. I indeed have become all the circles of devotees. I have an argument with Nidaga. <laughs> <laughs> Right in the middle of his glorious speech. Let's hear it then. I wonder, did he really say, like, I have become it? Because at least, but it might have been different in his day. But I feel like in this day and age, which is, I don't know what you call this, but it's 2000, year 2022, <laughs> for the record. <laughs> but like, it's like, I think when we hold on to that idea that you can become something or that you need to change, like, I don't feel like that's, very helpful idea for most of us you know so it's more like at least I feel like I'd prefer if you were saying I indeed have recognized that I am and I have always been this just somehow that's coming in so like I can't wait till the end to say it. he might not have even said it you know like he might have just been saying oh I'm this and this this and this and then like someone's taking a note or like the week after, you know, someone else, one of the disciples said, he said, I became this, I became this. He might not have actually even said it. <clears throat> but I mean, it's just an expression as well. And no expression is true. But I do have a little argument with that expression. <laughs> I'll have to rewrite the song of Ribu for the 21st century. <laughs> 21st century edition. So the, the, the point is you already are, yeah? It's, yeah. It's, there's no, no becoming. It's, yeah. It's, there's a goal to get to. Exactly. Sort of we recognize that that's what we are and that's what we've always been. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
and that even those words at least for me they feel much better and much more harmonious to you know because I think when you're trying to express you kind of say some words you know and they feel in harmony with what you're recognizing yourself so these words don't feel that in harmony with my recognition or like the recognition that's here like that I indeed have become or maybe there's a becoming but I just haven't become and you know I don't know but I even if that is the case I actually don't feel like it's a useful idea because it keeps you grasping and grasping is a kind of a it's something that brings you away from what's already here now isn't it like if you need to achieve something because I was talking to someone last night and we were just talking about the kind of I don't know the immensity or the power of being and she was saying yeah like it's great you don't have to grasp anything and I felt like yeah it's such a relief you know that you don't actually have to achieve anything or do anything it's just like you're actually what's really happening in spirituality or like when we listen to satsang is that we're being pointed to let go of everything really like let go of all ideas about the future you know and becoming anything and trying to achieve anything and in that rest like the rest of our being we recognize that actually this is what I've been looking for you know like whatever is just here when we're just here that's what we want it's not that you're it's like you were looking for a specific thing and you find it when you stop looking <laughs> it's more just like when you stop looking that's a like deep rest mm. that we want like. maybe um the issue you have is really in with time right so mm. as if becoming is he was you know he's still in time you know assuming yeah. there's something to become and you know, yeah because it no suggests time, there's no becoming yeah becoming as well suggests doesn't it, it suggests uh before like before was different than now like if you become something so like yesterday I was one thing and today I'm something else whereas that's not really what we recognize at all like there is no becoming and any kind of seeming becoming is just a, a story he's saying he's that as well so he could say you know I indeed recognize that I am the becoming and beyond the becoming because he's saying in this last verse that he's everything like he's ignorant and he's the multiplicity of beings so becoming is included in that type of thing <laughs> isn't it like a story what do we do now <laughs> no let's just finish finish with this book <laughs> no. yeah I think that brings us to verse 16. <laughs> continue. I indeed have become sometimes it's just words and people's way of using words and what they mean to them. Mm. You know, so for him, like at that time, maybe when he used those words, like they meant, like, and of course they do because the essence of the words is there. It's not like I don't have an argument with him. It's just and the, the words. <laughs> and the fact that he's bathed in beatitude. Yeah. <laughs> I <clears throat> indeed have become the gods, demons, and all. I indeed have become the chief of the gods, Indra. I indeed have become the deities of the directions. I indeed have become the assembly of sages. I indeed have become the Rakshasas, demons and their yakshas, demigods, whose lord is Kubera, god of riches. I indeed have become the diverse divisions of gods. I indeed have become all the celestials. I indeed have become all the terrestrials. I indeed have become all the beings. I indeed have become all the worlds. I indeed have become all the achievements. I indeed have become all the histories. I indeed have become all the Vedas. I indeed have become Brahma and all others. I indeed have become all the differences. I indeed have become all that is differentiated.
I indeed have become all the oceans. I indeed have become all the running rivers. I indeed have become all the forests and mountains. I indeed have become all that is contained in them. I indeed have become all the land and waters. I indeed have become all the fire and wind. I indeed have become all the sky. I indeed have become the creator and all others. So as I was reading the, the verse I just read, I, it felt natural to sort of substitute, I am this now. Yeah. You know, it's easy enough. Mm. I indeed have become the body and senses and all. I indeed have become the hearts of all living beings. I indeed have become all the mind and ideas. I indeed have become all the delusion and thoughts. I indeed have become all the ego. I indeed have become all the veilings. I indeed have become all the perplexing projections of the mind. I indeed have become all the revelations. I love how he's including everything. What's great, after I, I uh, expressed my argument, I don't feel like I have that argument anymore. <laughs> the last verse, it felt so like, when I was reading, it felt like I was him, <laughs> you know, and like, if you're not kind of like identified with like a separate body, so let's say in one moment experientially, you're identified with a body mind. And then you listen to all the words of Ribu and then they come into your heart and then you're not identified with just a body mind anymore. So it's as if, you know, experientially. So it's not really, you know, it doesn't matter if he's getting it exactly right because you can't get it exactly right anyway, <laughs> you know, in the expression of truth. So now it's like, oh, I've become this. So now his experience is that he's like everything, like whatever it is, he's just everything. Whereas, like, yeah, maybe yesterday his experience wasn't that. But I feel like my argument is gone. Kind of gone half. <laughs> I'm not ready to completely let it go yet. <laughs> Are we on 19? Or 20? Uh, 20. 20. I indeed have become the fourfold body. I indeed have become the wakefulness and other states. I indeed have become the pentad of sheets. I indeed have become their experiences. I indeed have become the collection of what is separate from the embodied individual of the waking state onwards. I indeed have become the cosmic from the virat, the self as the cosmic cause of the physical world onwards. I indeed have become all that is sentient. I indeed have become all that is insentient. It is I, indeed, who have become the elements and that which is composed of these elements. It is I, indeed, who have become all the objects of the world. It is I indeed who have become all the different worlds. It is I indeed who have become all the millions of galaxies. <coughs> it is I indeed <coughs> who have become every manifest object. It is I indeed who have become the world, the individuals, and the supreme. It is I indeed who have become the several conditionings that are postulated. It is I indeed who have become now the unconditioned truth. That's nice, nice uh, word, isn't it? The unconditioned truth. Because that's what we take ourselves to be is the conditioned truth. Like we're all, well, we don't think we're the truth, but like that's what we, we're always the truth, but we're kind of in a state of identifying with the conditioned nature of consciousness <laughs> and you know the relief the, certainly the relief that i feel um oh God, such a relief is, yeah 
<laughs> what, it, it's it's the conditioning just oh that's not that's not yeah. ruling running in control yeah. i still feel relief like in moments you know over and over again like you know sometimes like the mind just behaves the way the mind behaves <laughs> you know so like it can be doing its thing and then you know the higher or wiser part of your mind like your heart really <laughs> like points you back that no like this is just a story so in that recognition like it's just like oh yeah <sighs> so even if it's just a moment like where you are buying into a, a story it's still like a great relief like it can be just like in my experience it can be just like even a few seconds but that few seconds is like torture <laughs> I want to be just like you. <laughs> you are. You are. <laughs> no, it's it's refreshing to hear the you know the, the in the moment letting go. Mm. It's it's really, yeah. really nice. Yeah. I feel like that happens. It's like that kind of our inner inner master or our inner teacher like just becomes much more kind of ruthless with us. It doesn't let us get away with anything let the mind you know get away with anything mm -hmm. you know or yeah because we've chosen in our hearts like what well, that we're here for truth you know so therefore we've given the go-ahead to kind of be in control of our everything <laughs> our everything our experience of life so therefore you can't really get into suffering for very long because that that inner teacher obviously lives in us and I will just cut it <laughs> or show us you know that it's not true whatever way it does it in all many different ways so so as this is happening mm. um the body is just squeezing these little man tears out of me I can feel <laughs> yeah. <open> up over <laughs> they're not man tears they're heart tears <laughs> no, it's because I'm also a little embarrassed for for being a crier, but oh, I'm such a crier as well. Annoying. You don't need to be embarrassed <laughs> in front of me. <laughs> I don't seem to cry quite so much anymore. I probably would. I would. It depends on the situation. But I can relate to that. <laughs> I know. I know. <laughs> mm. Twenty-two is yours. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> <clears throat> what avails explanation in various ways? It is I, indeed, who have become all that appears as separate in the phenomenal world. It is I, indeed, who have become the absolute, just that, standing alone. Divorced from any of the undignified philosophical dissertations, what shall I say of the undiminishing greatness of myself? rid of all the defects of I and established as the undivided Supreme Brahman. Lord, is not all this the power of your compassion? I have become Brahman, truth, knowledge, bliss. I have become Brahman, established as the motionless. I've become Brahman, the complete, whole, and perfectly full. I've become Brahman, the eternal knowledge bliss. I've become Brahman, the pure expanse of consciousness. I've become Brahman with not a word to describe it. I've become Brahman, the non-dual, undivided, Supreme Brahman, revered one, how great is your grace? How great? I have become the Supreme Brahman, the peaceful, devoid of all. I have become the Supreme Brahman, the self of all. I have become the Supreme Brahman, the defectless, the blemishless. I have become the Supreme Brahman, which is all pervasive. I have become the spotless Supreme Brahman of the fourth state. I have become the Supreme Brahman transcending the fourth state. I have become the undivided Supreme Brahman, the faultless. Revered one, how great is your grace, how great. I 
I've become the Supreme Brahman without any form. I've become the Supreme Brahman, which abides as the One. <coughs> I, I've become the Supreme Brahman, which is invisible. I've become the Supreme Brahman, which is unwavering. I've become the Supreme Brahman, which is imminent as the Immaculate. I've become the Supreme Brahman, which stands as the stainless. I've become the Supreme Brahman, which is one and non-dual. Lord, how great is your grace? How great? Very great. <laughs> Super great, unimaginably. Unimaginably all giving great. <laughs> <laughs> Too great, too great for words. <laughs> I have become the Supreme Brahman, the ever enlightened. I have become the Supreme Brahman, the eternally pure. I have become the Supreme Brahman, the ever liberated. I have become the Supreme Brahman, the ever steady. I have become the Supreme Brahman, the non dual. I have become the Supreme Brahman, the formless. I have become the Supreme Brahman, the non-dual. Lord, how great is your grace, how great. <laughs> I've become of the nature devoid of the triad of forms. I have become of the nature of the Supreme, which is all awareness. I have become of the nature that has no triad of states. I have become of the supreme nature, which is vast as the sky. I have become of the nature that has no sixfold modifications. I have become of the supreme nature, which exists as the one. I have become of the nature of the perfectly full supreme. How great is your grace? How great. Mm. My Guru, as exhorted by you, by always practicing constantly the faultless, undivided, supreme certitude that I am Brahman, Brahman is myself and I am all, and rid of the misconceptions that constitute bondage and attaining the defectless, supreme Brahman bliss, I exist as the nature that is totally immaculate. What shall I say of the immensity of your grace? I have been describing the undivided supreme certitude in the manner I have obtained it. Whoever grasps this steadfast certitude will attain bliss. In addition, whoever listens to this daily will become of the nature of the supreme and be rid of all attachments. All that is said here is the truth. Saying thus, Nadaga abided in the bliss of the nature of the pure absolute. I've come, um, I've come to take the statement um, as a joke when he says, um, um, whoever listens to this daily will become. It's, it's a joke. You think that's a joke? <laughs> it's a joke because there's no becoming it. Eh? There's no becoming, of course. You have to change the word becoming to recognize, like I recognize, recognize that this is just so, it's always been so. There you go. <laughs> Only those who listen to the meaning of the great aphorisms taught by the guide in his compassion and further faultlessly reflect on them and enter into one pointed profound meditation thereon are delusionless and realize for all time that we are the blemishless, undivided absolute. See that he used the word there, realize for all time. So realize is kind of the same as recognize. You know, you realize it. It's not like, yeah, I don't know, any other word, but 
I feel like it's on par with recognizing. Mm. <laughs> they will be liberated from the misery of worldly existence. Thus, Skanda expounded this to Jaigi Shavya. In like manner, Sutta proclaimed this. Is the infinite form of our God of gods in the state of joyance dance that declares the unparalleled experience of Nadaga in the presence of the spiritual master? That all the appearances of the mobile and the immobile are only I and nothing apart. And the I that is the entirety, complete and all pervasive, is the partless absolute alone. <clears throat> until next week <laughs> I was going to read the title but then I didn't but it will be wonderful but I did read the title I just didn't read it out loud I read it in my head <laughs> thank you so much I actually want to ask you something but I'm going to pause the recording before I ask sure 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 <laughs>